bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We're meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free what I've done here so um, this here is a is an, an extendable broom handle uh, that's the handle part there I've managed to uh, take the top off of it and kind of adapt a uh, a tripod screw so I can then put my camera on it uh, it's got a spike in the bottom which I'm going to drive into the ground I've got a load of plastic kind of like handles here or extensions if you like so I can then mount my uh, my DJI at the top there meant to be in the great outdoors forever free and I'm going to hopefully drive it into the ground like so And then that will give me hopefully the correct height I can just adjust that slightly that should that should be about right there I think and I can zoom in and zoom out yeah and all we need to do now is to wait for the star of the show to turn up I think what I will do is put my glasses on because I'm, I'm struggling to see across the other side of the um, the pond there. This should hopefully sharpen things up a bit for me. Oh yes, a lot better. All right, it's just a matter of playing the long waiting game now, and that could be um, five minutes. It could be half an hour. But this is his normal spot where he comes to to feed so fingers crossed I think we'd be okay Morning. Morning. How are you then? You okay? Yes, thanks. Are you? Yeah, I'm waiting for a kingfisher to arrive. Oh, Supposed to be here half an hour ago and he's not turned up yet. <laughs> Say again, sorry? If there's something there that you're photographing. Yeah, kingfisher, a kingfisher. Oh. He's been seen on the perches over there, some of the twigs and branches. Oh. So, I'm hoping it is going to turn up. So. <laughs> it's a little bit late. We should have been here half an hour ago. 
Did you tell him you were coming? Yeah, he knows. He knows. <laughs> uh, I sent him an email. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Fingers crossed something will happen soon. Right, so he's right over the other side of the pond, 55, 60 metres away perhaps. Right, so he's left his perch. Not exactly sure where he went to mine. I can't see him anywhere. I think that's probably as good as I'm going to get with this particular camera. Um, Panasonic Lumix with a Leica lens. I think it's got about a, a, a 20 times zoom, I think. Uh, that sounds good, but you know, it just does not give you the detail uh, which you really are looking for. Um, I guess that bird was about maybe. 25 meters away from me uh, and I think with a really good camera with a good lens on it I think I could get some really really nice shots because um, the lights fantastic this morning it really is 
you know it's not too intense it's just enough light coming on to your subject you know to bring out the the colors and yeah it's a real privilege to get up you know quite close and fairly personal you know to the bird even with my very kind of agricultural homemade Acme style setup. Um, but you know, I'm not a seasoned professional photographer or videographer or anything like that. This is just my hobby, you know. trying to get more equipment but equipment is expensive you know I'm really working hard to try and get my subs up to about a thousand so I can start to uh, get some income from it which will help go towards you know putting into my channel with new equipment anyway here we go that'll do for today ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed that i, I certainly did and um i'll get myself out there again he's just gone over there he's on the other side of the lake he's down here just now he just flew across the lake he's over the other side anyway thanks for watching take care and as always please like and subscribe bye for now and i will see you on the next one